Hey, so I was asked if I could do some more complicated derivative problems for you. Um, for example, problems that mix together the various rules we've been learning. So, yes, I, I, I'm happy to. Let's, uh, let's start. Let's say that f of x is 5x squared times the cosine of 3x to the 4. So what we have here, well, we have a few things. But first of all, we have a product. We have 5x squared times this cosine. So if we're going to take the derivative, we're going to need the product rule. Well, the product rule says, okay, take the derivative of the first function. The derivative of 5x squared is 10x. The 2 comes down. Uh, maybe I'll just show all of the steps. So when we take the derivative of the first function, the five is a constant, it just sits there. And then the power rule says that the two comes down and then we reduce it in the power. So that's where that 10 X I had came from. And then we, we leave the other function alone. Thus, and now we leave the 5x squared alone, but we take the derivative of the cosine. And when we take the derivative of the cosine, What we're going to have to do is use the chain rule because we've got an outside and an inside function here. So the derivative of the cosine is the negative sine. We put the inside function inside of it. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And, you know, very similar to this derivative that we took, the four comes down, and then the four becomes a three. And there's probably some simplification we should be doing here. I mean, I'm not a fiend for simplification, but we want our answer to look nice if we can reasonably do that. So this negative sign and this positive sign will give us a minus, a negative and a positive give a negative. This five and this 12 will give us a 60. This x squared and this x cubed will give us an x to the fifth times the sine of three x to the four. 
Another example. Let's do one where we once again, let's do one where we once again have to use the chain rule and the product rule, but let's um let's switch things up slightly. Uh, excuse me just a moment. 